Hey guys, uh, in today's video it's going to be a mini request video because somebody sent me a question that I'm going to answer in a video. I could have answered it just by uh, writing back to them, but one, I'm really sick of writing back to messages all the time, so I'm going to try and do more uh, video replies instead. And two, because this is a very important question that I get asked, uh, you know, now and then, and uh, it's pretty annoying to write back to, I already kind of said that. So I'm going to reply to this question that I get asked um, sort of frequently, and hopefully it will uh, prevent more questions uh, being asked to me about this topic anyways. So, Zaraki, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, uh, this person says, Hi, wondering if there's any way to select all or parts of your video to move around instead of singly moving everything around and having to redo any transitions or fades, etc. Also wondering if you can merge clips the opposite of splitting them, other than undo right after you split. Thanks a lot. So I'm going to answer both of his questions today. So here we are in Sony Vegas, and I have laid out black, red, green, blue, yellow, and cyan. And uh, let's say I want to put magenta in between green and blue. Now, uh, what the problem is, is what Zaraki's doing is this is how he's going to do it. He's going to move cyan here, then yellow here, and then blue here. Then I'm going to grab magenta and put it right there and close that. Then he's going to do this, and this, and this. Now that is actually pretty frustrating, and uh, he doesn't want to do that every single time, so I'm going to show you an easy way to do this, and it's really convenient. It re actually really is. So up here, there's all these options here, and we're going to find this one here that says Auto Ripple. Uh, it's right next to the Automatic Crossfades and uh, Lock Envelopes to Events. It's this one right here. Just simply click on it. And now what you can do is click on the blue and drag it to the right, and it will push all the ones in forward or in front of it to the right. So now we have the space here. Now we can put magenta here, and now we can uh, put cyan here. Oh wait, no, that won't work. Yeah, we'll take a uh, blue and pull it back, and it saves a lot of time and it's really convenient and it really helps you out if you're doing this kind of thing lots. So uh, review. I know I just went over it, but may as well do a review. So have auto ripple on enabled and then click on the color in front of the space where you want the color to be or well these colors just re represent your video clips but I'm just using colors for the sake of example so let's say that we want orange in front of red and behind green so make sure that auto ripples on and then click on green and just push it forward then we can put orange here and then to pull it back, just use the same color that you used to push forward. So click on green and just pull it back. And there you go. It saves a lot of time and it's really uh, helpful around when you're using Sony Vegas. So that is uh, hopefully answering your first question. Now uh, your second question was, um, how do you merge clips, uh, the opposite of splitting them, other than just using the undo command? Okay. So um, what he means is, let me just turn auto ripple off because we don't need it. So let's say that he's got cyan here and by the way to split a clip just click on it where you want the split to happen and hit S on your keyboard and now they have split they are two different clips and uh... he doesn't want to just have to hit control Z to undo it every time so to do this uh, what you're gonna do is uh... push the two clips together so that they're touching click on the first clip hold control on your keyboard and click on the second clip this will select both of them and hit G on your keyboard and now they are merged. They're not uh, totally one full clip, but it's better than nothing. The only way you're going to actually get them to be one complete clip is to uh, hit Control Z so many times. And Vegas can only do uh, Control Z so many times before it just forgets what the last thing you did was. So uh, hopefully I have answered both of your questions, and uh, hopefully I don't have to get those questions asked me anymore. I'll just redirect them to this video rather than reply to them in detail. So yeah thanks for asking that question Zaraki and if you have any questions uh, you can either post a comment or send me a message and I'm gonna try and do some video replies rather than writing back to you because um, I'm totally out of ideas at the moment and I don't know it might be something new to try so anyways uh, thanks for watching and I'll try and release some tutorials soon so anyways uh, see you later